The kid with the corpse knight skin is so pissed off, his mom wouldn't let him buy the Batman skin. Like, it's just <laughs> like, it's Dark Knight, Corpse Knight, it's the same it's thing. The same. <laughs> you spent 17 bucks on this game already. Christ, it's supposed to be free. <laughs> What's cracking, everybody? Hello and welcome to a very, very special episode of Elder Dragon Hijinks. Indeed, I'm Ailey. Oh God, sorry, I hit my, <laughs> and I hit my microphone. I'm Olivia. <laughs> I really am, I promise. This is not a pack a day since I was born. This is just uh, con crud. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we have a super cool <laughs> pair of guests today. We have Graham and Kathleen from Loading Ready Run joining us, and we could not be more excited to play some Commander with these fine friends of ours. We are playing the March of the Machine Precon, so let's see who picked what. And if you haven't met Graham and Kathleen, well, prepare to be charmed. Hi, I'm Graham. And I'm Kathleen. From Loading Ready Run, where we do all kinds of stuff, including, but not limited to, a lot, a lot of Magic the Gathering content. Yeah, check it out on Twitch or YouTube. Just type in Loading Ready Run and let the algorithm guide you, God be willing. Yes, or you can specifically go to LRRMTG on YouTube for just the Magic stuff. It's like, we do our own Commander stuff, we do the pre-pre-releases, all that kind of nonsense. But today, we're here for hijinks, and I'm playing an absolute gremlin. Uh, which I feel a great kinship towards. It is Gimbal, Gremlin Prodigy. He makes he makes little gremlin tokens and it cares about artifact tokens. I don't know what's in this deck and I'm excited to find out. That's very exciting. I likewise don't know what's in my deck, but I'm playing Bright Palm Soul Awakener. And Bright Palm has backup one and their backup ability reads, whenever this creature attacks, double the number of plus one, plus one counters on target creature. This creature can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less this turn. So this deck is telling me that it wants me to turn mans sideways and make my mans into even bigger mans. I get to make little gremlins. I get to crush, uh, your gremlins can't even block my things. They just get, they don't even get crushed. I, I'll have to make larger gremlins. I couldn't crush your beautiful mechanical children. Today I am playing Bream as Blight of Arescos. I'm gonna cast Phyrexian creatures and incubate X where X is the spell's mana value and at the beginning of my end step of Phyrexian dies proliferate. Precons. Today I am playing the precon that we previewed. It is the only commander with eminence. Haha, <laughs> therefore it is the bestest. It cares about knights, especially when they're attacking, so he can draw and discard. And when he pops something on the noggin, you get a knight back from your graveyard, which is dope. So I'm gonna be sticking a bunch of knights in the yard, going wide and smashing face. <laughs> Elder Dragon Hijinx is sponsored by Gamegenic, the absolute best in the deck box business. If you've seen any of the professor's reviews on these boxes, you know that they are in a class of their own. Quality materials, unique designs, and customizable to your heart's content thanks to the removable magnetic covers. But it's not just deck boxes. They offer everything you could possibly need for an excellent tabletop experience. Sleeves, life counters, card stands, playmats, tubes, whatever you play, Gamegenic has you covered. Thank you all for helping make this partnership happen by clicking the things that make the dings. A uh, horse girl is a person who hangs out at like uh, some sort of like horse stable, like all their spare times, but it is like super into it because they just love horses. But they're uh, also probably rich and snobby. Like it's a weird combination. Weird. Okay. Why did yeah, this become a thing? Yeah, like they <laughs> draw super... horses. They'll sometimes be in like the, like have horses on t-shirts and everything's about horses. Okay. Everything's about horses. Yeah. Can you believe that I've never hung out with a horse girl in my life? <laughs> they didn't want to hang out with me. <laughs> yeah, I dated a horse girl once. You dated a horse girl? <laughs> you dated a horse girl? In high school. Oh my God. Yeah. What was she like? I mean, aside from bizarre. Very, very weird. Very strange, <laughs> strange woman. Like, so I have a built up a psychological because, profile because, like, in my head of you the have, typical You horse have girl. to form a bond with said animal, right? So that just kind yeah. of is like, that's so she that's a choice to, at that age. She didn't go to our school, but she came to our prom with me and she was wearing like a dress that she had made that looked like something that you would wear to like a Ren fair. Oh, <laughs> nay. Uh, which <laughs> was in a sharp contrast to all of the girls from my school. I had one, but we didn't, we just had five acres of property. So like our horse just lived there. And like, I would show up at class with hay in my hair on occasion because I <laughs> eat him in the morning, but I wasn't like a horse girl. You weren't obsessed You're with You're currently horses. horse, I, I'm just saying. I, ha, ha, ha. I was a, I was a girl who happened to own a horse. I was not yeah. a horse girl. I went uh, and had a uh, dumplings with Lizbeth Eden last night. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, she heard me talk. She's like, can you make me a promise? And I said, yes, what is it? And she's like, you can't, you have to talk like this for the rest of your life. She's like, really? <laughs> she's like, it's so hot. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> All right, yeah. I am prepared to play Sick. a game of Magic the Gathering. Okay, we have hands, we're good. I rolled six. Six. Eight. Spirits. Huh. That's a nine. And I think you're muted. It's still a nine. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, set, command tower pass. Oh. So that, oh, yeah, that, we're sure, good. that's me. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. I don't want to bring a, like, a weirdly negative energy to this. So I'm going to say, excellent choice. I'm also going to play a command tower and say <laughs> oh go. God. Just absolute. Right. Excellence all the way around. Meanwhile, it's a gold land, but it's not a command tower. It's the Frontier Bivouac. Frontier oh, nice. Bivouac. <laughs> Go for it. I have drawn a knight too. We'll play one of them fancy multi land things, Thriving Isle. It makes it blue for me, and let's say white. I'm going to have Duel of the Fate stuck in my head now. No way. Best top deck ever. Soul Ring? Yeah. Soul Ring. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. I'm going to Evolving Wilds and Ring and Pass. Nice. All right, I'm going to draw for turn. You know, your turn was so nice. Let's see it twice. What? Yeah. All the wilds and then pass. Oh. <laughs> One good <laughs> wild <laughs> deserves another. I'll get a planes. What do I want? Island, and I'm going to play a Simic Signet. Go ahead. Cool. Is now a good time to mention I don't know what my deck is or does? It's hard very thing. Good. Yep. I am 100% just opened this box and sleeved it as we set up our pregame. Same. And <laughs> I have no idea what any of this does. I picked this deck on the basis that the commander is a literal gremlin. Yeah. And so I felt, a I felt a tremendous sense of kinship. At this moment, because of your mentioning, I'm going to take this opportunity to read what my commander does. There you oh, go. Okay. <laughs> Mine makes knights. I know this because we revealed this, this lovely thing. So yeah, worthy knight. Whenever I cast a knight spell, I make a human. I say go. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Party on. And for turn, we fixed. Oh, sick. Okay. I will cast my commander. <laughs> Rima's got corrupted. Poor cat friend. Whenever I cast a Phyrexian crack oh. whenever I cast a Phyrexian creature or an artifact creature spell. Incubate X. X is that spell's mana value. The beginning of each end step, if a Phyrexian died under my control this turn, proliferate. Nice. I believe Whoa. that oh. means I incubate. So when you proliferate, you can proliferate any number of things, right? They don't only have to be your things. It doesn't Correct. count itself. I, I don't think it counts itself, yeah. That Never would be a bit. Okay. I mean, your next one, though. Feel free. That's whenever I cast. I don't know. Yeah, but he's not on the battlefield yet. It's magic. There's <laughs> eminence in this commander, so why not? Only I'm mine. I'm tired. I've played a lot of games and my brain's fried. Past turn. So, Olivia, I'm open to making deals because my commander is Bright Palm, Soul Awakener, and they have backup one. And whenever this creature attacks, you double the number of plus one, plus one counters on target creature. That creature can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less this turn. So I'm all about making plus one, plus one counters. And that seems like something that could be proliferated if you Absolutely. were so many, many moons ago when I was on a PPR in person. <laughs> we had ascertained that we were both witches, and I am fine with us <laughs> remaining powerful witches in, in sisterhood. Excellent. All right, I'm going to play a Fury Calm Snarl, but it's going to enter the battlefield tapped. And then I'm going to play a Conclave Mentor. And it just says some stuff about plus one, plus one yeah, counters. no biggie. Uh, it's, it's fine. Uh, if it becomes on. relevant, I'll read it out. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to play a second basic island, and I'm going to tap one of those islands and my bivouac and this signet for a weirding wood. To That's Olivia's and I's wood. <laughs> yeah, how dare you? <laughs> it's true. To enchant the island here, uh, and I get to make a clue, and that's the extent and breadth of my turn. All right, on tap. Draw. I'm gonna play this here, planes. I shall cast Knight Exemplar. It's first strike, other knights you control get plus one plus one and have indestructible. Trigger here, I'm gonna make a little bit of human. Uh oh. Right, who scares me most? Kathleen, I am scared of that conclave, so I'm gonna swing at you with a 3 3. 
I will trigger oh. eminence. Haha, from Sadar oh. Jabari. Whenever a knight attacks, if he's in the command zone or on the battlefield, draw and discard. I will do that. Wow. Ooh, that's a good one. Eminence. Isn't this an enemy and slay the spire? Construct? Oh, yeah. What, the big no, head the guy? Yeah. Oh, the face? It's yeah. The big, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, so in for three at you, Kathleen. I'm just going to take it. Okay. You get bopped get in the noggin. I have discarded a time wipe because I don't want to kill my things. Go for it, Liv. You coward. <laughs> I will play a planes. I'm going to cast a new card that I hey. just drew. I'm going to cast Moira and Tashar, a Phyrexian spirit bird. Sure. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target non-land permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste, exile it at the beginning of the next end step. If it would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Cool. That's a Phyrexian friend. So now you incubate oh, five. Oh, now I get an incubate. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh my god. So flavor fun. That's I think the only Phyrexian team up. Yeah. I was yeah. just noticing that. I was thinking. I was like, wait a minute. Isn't that a bad guy? <laughs> yeah. So also Moira it's is that a... honks because Moira's costume was like the best. Yeah, she was like a uh, like a spirit from Urborg, wasn't she? Yes, she was, and, and she so... had she got to wear a lot of bones, and I'm jealous. Also, That's apparently, cool. you can complete a ghost. You can complete a spirit, then I guess I'm gonna swing it eight. Wait, no. How big is the horsey thing? A one one and a two two. Come at me, uh -huh. I won't block. I don't I believe in swinging, blocking. I'm swinging with corrupted cat friend. Cat How uncle. big is he? Uh, three, four. I will take three. And I'm going to find out what Moira's creature type is because I'm curious. I'll pass to Kathleen. All right, untap. Draw for the turn. <gasps> oh, it's another tap land. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna it's use- fine. Everything's fine. I don't need to cast my commander or any of the other four or five Pre drops Precons, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna- Cast this Wood Elves. When it enters the battlefield, search my library for a forest card, then put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle. So I'm gonna ramp. Ooh, I hope there's a triumph. Good call. I, let's, you <laughs> I know what? Let's is. look for more than just no, the basic so. forest. That would have been really cool. Kathleen, oh, oh. Moira was a spirit wizard. Oh. oh. Hmm. Canopy Vist is a non basic forest. There we so are. Once, once again, a, a sister witch. Excellent. Wow. So. Maybe they didn't so much complete her. She just was like, this seems cool. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'll just see what's going on. Tashar is like yet another bird person that got completed. I yeah, mean, that is. It, well, because it's funny. Like, I'm sitting here. I was like, that's not Tashar because the the art makes Tashar look like Atraxa. I was mm. very, I was, mm. I was confused. Has Why anyone checked in on Mavinda? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. If, 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 if our sweet Hoot Hoot got corrupted, oh, I'm going to be real sad. But no. The story was that like Lily went to Arcavios and like it's like hey don't get got and that <laughs> some did but I never saw I, I didn't see Brina nor uh, Mavinda. Mm -hmm. Good. But I'm aftermath is still coming, so who knows? Oh god. Yeah. Rip Genrith. <laughs> oh yeah, big rips. <laughs> Hey, sorry, right. you lost your leg and your parents died, but <laughs> you'll be fine, Will and Rowan. <laughs> Yeah, they're not having a great couple of years. Mm -mm. They really aren't. I've played Wood Elves. I've put my land out. Uh, I'm not gonna, uh, wait, Graham, you don't have any creatures. I'm sure don't. I'm gonna attack <laughs> you for two. Great, I take two. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, at the end of your turn, I'm going to cast Reality Shift oh. to exile Moira and Tashar. What? But, then, but you get to manifest the top card of your library. I don't, I don't want to manifest. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> that honks. Big bird. Big, scary, yeah. terrifying bird. No, be nice to my burb. <laughs> I'm just my exile burb now. <laughs> I'm going to play a Cinder Glade. It enters untapped because I have two basic islands. I uh, will play my commander. It's Gimbal, Gremlin Prodigy. Okay. Artifact creatures I control have trample. Oh, and nice. at the beginning of my end step, make a 0, zero red gremlin artifact creature token, and then put X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of differently named artifact tokens I control, which in this case oh. is one. This oh, nice. hurts my heart that it's Teamer. 
right? Why is this teamer? <laughs> and yet I'm playing with our. And yet I'm using our Jundam out sleeves just to confuse it. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> That's Everything my turn. Go for it. Untap. Draw. I'm going to continue becoming a problem, which is fun. <laughs> Sida Jabari, get your butt out here, bro. Yes, Eminence friend. So he does the draw discard thing whenever my knights attack. Uh, he is flying in first strike. And whenever this deals combat damage to a player, I can return a knight card from my graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, wow. fun. Trigger here on worthy knight. I get another human friend. And then I would like to attack with my indestructible 3-3. Three, three. How big is Gimbal? 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Mm, yeah, no. You can just blow. Yeah. Kathleen. <laughs> I take 4. No, I take 3. It's only 3, yeah. And then I'll draw and discard. And start chucking some knights in the bin here, eh? A claim contender. Get in the bin. That's do my you, turn. Do y'all swear on this show? Yeah. Yeah, you can swear. Okay. That knight deck looks like it absolutely <laughs> Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it really does. It's sweet. I was about to say the wrong name for this, but it would have been funny. Okay. <laughs> Silver Quill Campus. I will then play Master Splicer, which I was definitely going to say Ooh. Master Splinter. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Or it's going so wide so quickly. I know, I know. it's unfortunate. Oh, wait, no, I get the Golem. That's yeah, the yeah. One. And then you get, get another. And, and you get a f- and a thing. Yeah, and make it a f- specifically for Exian Golem. Maybe you should have thrown away that board wipe. Oh, hey. that's okay. There's more. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? The, what Spicy. about Sister Witch? What the hell? <laughs> I not all witches. You. <laughs> oh, that's true. But not all witches' board states are looking approximate right now. So you know. <laughs> maybe. I, well, I mean, I can't block for you because we're not playing. You know, <laughs> that's so, a red giant. Yeah. Yeah. A giant. Yeah, but. And you've got, oh, she's got so many knights. Yeah, I have two chump blockers, and then Siddhar's a 4-3, and then the knight exemplar will never block. You're not well, supposed to tell them that. <laughs> I've got it. You two, you're the chump blockers. Or what? I have it, Ailey. <laughs> I will put a tiny human in the way. Not my tiny human, please don't panic. Although he'd probably block pretty well anyway. <laughs> please. <laughs> Do not throw your child in front of the Phyrexian. I will pass. <laughs> All right. I realized I wasn't using the zones in the playmat. It's like, wow, I do feel more organized. <laughs> All right. What do I want to do here? I have five mana. Mm. I can do one thing every turn, which is very frustrating. But that's perfect fair magic. Don't be frustrated. Hmm. That's true. I'm going to play El Haru, Solemn Ritualist. When Al Haru, Solemn Ritualist, enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two other target creatures. And whenever a non-token creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it dies, you create a one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Oh, cool. I have a conclave mentor that says if one or more plus one, plus one counters be put on a creature you control, then that many plus one. So how this works out is I'm going to get two plus one, plus one counters on conclave mentor, and I'm going to get two on two wood elves. Nice. And then, do I have any good attacks? I have a 4 4 and a 3 3. Uh, Sadar would kill, and this would get jumped if you want to swing both of them. I don't have any good them. attacks, because Graham also has a 4 4. A 4 4, yeah. What does Master Splicer give to your golems? 1 1. Oh, 1 1. Just 1 1. All right, well, I'm just going to sit back here and chill then, because I don't feel like suiciding any of my mans in. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to play a basic forest, and then I'm going to tap 5 for a cost reduced. Junk Winder. So it has affinity for tokens, of which I have two. Mm-hmm. And then whenever a token enters the battlefield under my control, tap target non-land permanent and opponent controls, and it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Oh, okay. I'm going to move to my end step, and I create another 0, zero Gremlin, and put plus and plus one counters on it of differently named artifact tokens, which now is two, because I have the... Oh, I guess it would have been two last time. X the number of differently named artifact tokens. You control. Yeah. Oh, right. It would have been two last time. It is two again. But an artifact enters, so I'm going to stun your commander, Ailey. That is a good call. And he doesn't wake up. Yeah. Just a little extra tapped. That's over to you. (laughs) Cool. Untap. Oh, hi. Oh. Shout outs to everybody in the comments who now has to go back and edit their uh, comment telling (laughs) me it should have been two the first time. 
<laughs> I will play Temple of the False God. Adds two colors for me. I have five lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does it need to be six? It does not. Mall of the Skyclaves. When this enters uh -huh. the battlefield, attach it to target creature I control. It's going to be the Knight Exemplar. And then with the other two mana, I shall cast Corpse Knight. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. This is a cost trigger, so I get another 1-1 one, one human. And uh, that doesn't trigger Corpse Knight because no. Corpse Knight is still in the stack at that yeah. point? Okay, cool. He's cool. still in the air. I like to think he's like flying in <laughs> Fortnite style still. So he hasn't, you know... He's not firing his I guns quit. just Thanks, yet. everybody, for watching. It's been a great run, but Ailey's talking about Fortnite now, so... We're trying to be yeah. relevant with the kids, Olivia. <laughs> just imagine no, we don't. The, the corpse knight with one of those stupid gliders. The, the corpse knight has thanked the bus driver. <laughs> the kid with the corpse knight skin is so pissed off, his mom wouldn't let him buy the Batman skin. Like, oh, it's just right. like, <laughs> you can have bat We have Batman at home. <laughs> Dark Knight, Corpse Knight, it's the same it's thing. The same. <laughs> you spent 17 bucks on this game already. Christ, it's supposed to be free. <laughs> oh no. Olivia, do you, you have kids, flyers? You kids and your macro transactions. I do not. No flyers? Graham doesn't want me to have wings. He okay. clipped them. <laughs> I'm going to swing Knight Exemplar at you, Olivia. Uh, okay. Trigger off Sadar. I will draw and discard. Oh, ah, that's nice. I'm going to chuck this land. I have too many lands. So that gets in the bin. So you'll get a bop for four unless you have a way to kill that. I do not. And then I shall tap the one remaining for a soul ring. <laughs> that is my turn. All right. How much is Siddhar to cast again? He would be six if you killed him. He's tapped currently because Scrim's worm I'm thingy. Flyer. Yeah, that one. It's a, yeah, creature type serpent. Snake. Yeah, see. I can't decide what's... Oh, wait, no, this is more fun. No. Uh, Do the fun thing. I am. <laughs> Do you have any enchantments over there? Oh, that's... Uh, 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 Me? Uh. This deck only plays one, so... No, I, <laughs> no. I know, I remembered. I, uh -huh. It's only that one thing. I'm going to play an Angel of the Ruins, and I'm going to exile your Maul of the Skyclaves and your Soul Ring. <gasps> that's very rude. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Two things? <laughs> What a Get little god. <laughs> no big how dare you. <laughs> Fine. She's five seven. It's Whoa. gone. As is this my mana. <laughs> <laughs> you have some big chonkers there, and you have a flyer now. <laughs> I do not get a Phyrexian because it is just a regular angel. It's it, that's fine though. Man, I feel good having done that. That was the right call. <laughs> I will just continue to make you mad at me and send. I have indestructibles, so I will block oh, it, Block with that's, them. That's stupid then. <laughs> Graham is also in a position, and I'm not going to attack Witch Sister right now. <laughs> I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to be a coward and just hang out, so pass. That knight makes all your knights indestructible? Yeah. Yeah, it's messed up. What a pain. Yeah. Oh, I got great. rid of the Skyclave and two of her mana. That's mm -hmm. good. I helped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm right. a shake and bake chicken kid. <laughs> I helped. Oh my All god, right. I'm old. <laughs> Time to cultivate. I need more land. I'm gonna cultivate. And then I think I'm gonna tap like this for cultivate. Uh, do I have anything else to do? We'll see. I get one land tapped and I can get one into my hand. Oh, there's a silver ring on the top. That would have been helpful. <laughs> Where's my basic land? Hopefully the deck that's running Cultivate also has basic land. <laughs> well, like, I would hope. <laughs> no, I saw it when I sleeved it up this morning. When I was looking at the deck for the first time, there's a planes. <laughs> there's not that many in here. Like, I swear to God. There it is. All right, I'm going to put this mountain into my hand. Now my mana problems are sure to be over, and I'll be able to do more than one thing a turn. I'm very okay. excited. Those keeping score at home may have inferred that Kathleen and I are in the same physical location. <laughs> <laughs> ah. We, like this card that I'm about to cast, are just together forever. Yay. It's, a, it's an enchantment. When together forever enters the battlefield, support two. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Nice. And then it hangs around. And if I had spare mana, when one of those creatures dies, I can return it to its owner's hand. I think you still have a land drop for turn, don't you? Yeah. You get to play that mountain. Oh, yeah, I do. You can, you can play some man tapped. 
Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All right, well, then, there we go. Please don't kill Yay. my dudes. All right, Kay. Together Forever comes down, and I'm going to get some plus one, plus one counters. I'm going to put one here and one here, but because of Conclave Mentor, I'm going to get two. So that's... Why are those on separate die? Because I wanted to match them to the color <laughs> oh. of the source that gave it to them, and then I was like, that's insane, and I was thinking that, but then you said it for me. Sorry. Uh, all right, now I have a 5-5 five, five and a 5-5 five, five and a 4-4. Four, four. Dang. Who wants to battle? All right, who's got anything that's smaller than a 4-4? Four, four? Nope. I do, but they're indestructible. Okay, I have 1-2-2. So two, two. Yeah, but we have some... And a 1-1. One, 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 yeah, and a 5-7. Yeah, yeah the 5-7 five, five, seven seven. is a real problem. <laughs> I have a five six. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I will just sit back again and play the defensive game. But watch out next turn. <laughs> right. All right. Everybody got very big boards very quickly. Uh, end of your turn. I'm gonna crack this clue and draw a card, and then untap and draw. Sorry. What? Oh, I see. <laughs> it's, a, it's a brand new card. I've never seen it before. Yep. Uh, not not this. This is a basic mountain. I'm I'm familiar with the concept of that. Hang on, I gotta read this again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. And then. <laughs> okay, so part of that is meaningless. So I guess, yeah, I, we will not find out what that does for now, but perhaps, perhaps you will learn later what that card does. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, nobody's got good attacks on anybody. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass the turn. So I make another gremlin. This for, Somehow this deck only came with two of these brand new gremlin tokens. What's so, that? Oh. Ooh. Hang on. I've got... Oh. Boo this break on. Two, <laughs> two, two gremlins. Okay. And a 1-1 one, one gremlin. Cool. Uh, the 1-1 one, one gremlin enters the battlefield and I get to freeze something again. What's Siddhar's attack trigger again? He brings knights back from the graveyard onto the battlefield. So, worthy of your freezing, I will say. I was going to say, do you have any targets for that right now? Uh, a claimed contender is hanging out in my bin. That's the one that fetches a knight or an, uh, an artifact. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep the commander frozen for now. Yeah. Yeah, that's a solid call. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Cool. All right. I'm going to do something cheeky. I don't know why, turn. but the title Gremlin Prodigy is just so good. <laughs> so great, yeah. It's so good. A little gimbal. It's got such a good name, too. I'll play an Island. It's my land for turn. It is land. It is land. And then I'm going to do something very cheeky, which is going to make some people mad. I am going to cast Fell the Mighty and destroy all creatures with power greater than my Knight Exemplar, which is a 2-2. Two -two. Now you're probably thinking, but Ailey, that's going to blow up your stuff too. Well, no, because everything else is indestructible because of this friend. So... Anything that is three power or more, get off the board. Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> I love you. Do you have a response? Oh, okay. well, on my turn. Okay, <laughs> Kathleen, do you have a response to this? I, I, I probably have a response. I have okay. a response. I believe okay. it, I am going to pass the priority. <laughs> so destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures power. What creature are you targeting? Two. The two, two two. That's so rude. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess in response, I'm going to pay one and target my Conclave Mentor. Choose target creature with the counter on it. When that creature dies this turn, return that card to its owner's hand. Sure. All right, I'm going to... See if Graham's going to get me. <laughs> I hope he I'm does. I'm going to try to, yeah. Uh -oh. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. To cast Spell Swindle. Oh! To counter target spell. Uh, Sadness goes on the stack. <laughs> it create, resolves. Sadness resolves. Sadness uh, and resolves. I create... Uh, five. Are, oh, they're on the back of this. Can you grab me a treasure token, too? <laughs> I get five <laughs> treasure tokens, because that's X is the mana value of that thing. Uh, this also means I get five junk winder triggers. Hell yeah. Wow, you're going to tap me down, aren't you? So I get to, I mean, not necessarily everything of yours, because uh, <laughs> I think that 5-7 Angel should also be tapped down. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, well, tap down is fine. I'm less concerned about tap down. Yeah, it's just tap down, yeah. And doesn't untap. Once. That part's not as cool, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got rid of all so of the Skyclaves. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. I mean, individually, the, the knights that you have left over are not 
huge or terrifying, except I will make them struggle. disappear. Don't worry. Um, well, at least some of them. So <laughs> let's see here. I will tap the angel and Olivia's five five and Kathleen's wood elves and your conclave mentor and the golem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. I will pay one mana for a Falmire Knight. I will get a worthy knight trigger, making a new friend. So these are two that can attack, this one can't. Whenever another creature enters under your control, each opponent loses one life. So ding, ding, ding. And it'll happen again when this enters. Ding, ding, ding. So you lose two. Yeah. Combat. I am going to... Uh, how big are your blockers, Olivia? I have a 4-4, four, four, a 3-4, a 2-2, two, two, and a 1-1. One, one. That 4-4 four, four is not transformed, though, is it? Oh, no, it's not. You're right. It's just an incubator. It's, it's just, just an artifact. 3-4, 2-2, 1-1. Okay. I'm just going to swing my two indestructibles at Graham, just because I want my Sadar Jabari trigger of drawing. And this is a mistake, but it's fine. Discarding, because I'm hellbent. <laughs> so they're, they're yeah, two... They're indestructible three threes. All right, I block both of them. Cool. And that is my go. I'm just going to fetch my human token quick. I'll be right back. Yes. Okay, and these guys stay tapped down just either until my next turn or you keep them tapped, hey? If if I get more, yeah, but I have to get got a bunch it, more tokens. It. Yeah, they, okay. they, 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 they don't untap on this turn only. Okay. Powerful. Yeah. Very powerful magic. I have two options here. One is kind of mean to Graham. That's okay. Well, Graham actually, just it's, saved it's your pretty bus. fair. I know that's my <laughs> that's my hesitation, but it doesn't hurt uh, Kathleen or myself. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think I care for this one, so I might just deal with it. And those fools are still indestructible. How? What's uh, PT on your friends there, Ailey? Two two indestructible death touch. These are one ones, and this is okay. a two two. Okay, great. Worth it, Massacre Worm. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, shh. That's my entire board gone. <laughs> how, how much power and toughness here? Two. So it's just minus two, minus oh, two. Minus two, minus two. Thank God. All right. Yeah, so I got you. Let's, let's, so I guess I let's lose, go around the... I will lose two critters. This casket right, that was a morph and the Phyrexian Golem. I lose three creatures. I lose seven, so that's 14 of me. Yep. <laughs> Wait, why is your golem die? Wasn't it a 4-4? Four, four? It was a 2-2. Two, two. I don't know how to read it. It is a 4-4. Four, four. So you only lost one creature. No, no, you're Olivia. This oh, that. Olivia. Oh, Did you say a pony? Read Massacre Worm. <laughs> no. I was trying to play fair magic. <laughs> you're so fair that I hurt myself. <laughs> Opponents. So and I run that card in like four decks. I'm <laughs> you're lost. tired. You lost no life. I, I lost, lost many. I lost six life, and Ailey went down fourteen. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. you got me good. Oh. All right, well, that, you mean it. And that's just an ability that st stays around. That yeah. whenever something dies, it's the two life loss. Yeah. Loses, loses two life. All right, sticky, harsh. That's such a good card, though. I love my Listen, I've been up since three o'clock this morning, so like <laughs> I am <laughs> not firing on all cylinders right now. Um, I feel like that. <laughs> is doing enough. That was good. Uh, you should hit me now. Yeah, I plan on it fully. Um, <laughs> let's All get right. you for... Oh, YOLO. I'll get you for four is seven is nine. Okay. All right. Uh, that golem should still be tapped, I think. Oh, that's right. It was tapped. Yeah. I'm not getting you for the four. So five. Five? Yeah. I'll take five. Yeah. I feel like that was a sufficient turn. That I was a really good turn. It. Kathleen, yeah. Powerful turn. Good job. Good turn. <sighs> if I realized I learned I... to read. <laughs> That's okay. I realized one of my lands is a path of ancestry, so I've probably been missing so I've missed several scries off it. So commenters, I'm excited <laughs> to see what you think. I'm not gonna read any comments that are related to that, but feel free to put them in there and feed the engagement gods. And yeah, anyway, do that. that. I will say, yeah, if if you enjoy finding plays that we missed, mm. by all means, please put every single one of them in an individual comment. Go for it, yeah. yeah. And knock yourself <laughs> out. Fine. Chase your joy, friends. We're not going to stop you. All right. I'm going to play my commander finally. Uh, scry one. <laughs> Hell yeah. That seems fine. 
Well, Bright Palm's ability is amazing. Yeah, Bright Palm's ability is messed up. Let's talk a little bit about oh, it. Oh, crap. Yeah, I just I need to realize what its backup is. Yeah, it's hell sweet. All right, backup <laughs> one. So I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter, and I guess my only untapped creature. Whenever this creature attacks, double the number of plus one, plus one counters on target creature. That creature can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less this turn. <laughs> so, so Conclave Mentor makes that one more counter. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. so that's four. Once again, commenters, I'm smarter than you. I figured it out eventually. Phyrexian yeah. worm for Massacre Worm. It's a six uh, incubator. It's a Phyrexian worm? I didn't yes, realize sure that is. either. Oh, damn. Oh. You learn that's something new. new every day. That's some fresh errata. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, that, that's, a, that's a retcon there, hey? Oh, boy. All right, cool. Gross. Yeah. I, that's why I didn't see it either. I was like, oh, it's just frag. Oh, was it an M20? I don't think Dang so. I'm they only introduced the Phyrexian subtype fairly recently. Fairly recently, yeah, so. Anyway, sorry, Kathleen, what that, are you doing? That's okay. I now have a 7-7 seven, seven that when it attacks, it becomes a 14-14 fourteen, fourteen that can't be blocked with creatures power two or less. Um, well, that's, I, that's pretty spicy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think it, I, I, I feel the spice. Graham, I'm gonna attack you. Okay. So I can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less, so I could block it, but only with my junk winder or my gimbal, and I don't really want to, so I would... Oh, you put it on it. Uh, whenever right. this creature attacks, double the number of plus one, plus one counters on target creature. And, right. Oh. Target creature. But the creature that you double it on is the one that can't be blocked. Yes. Yeah, okay, interesting, it, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, so this is 12? 12. Huh. So, ha <sighs> hang on one second. How many counters did it have? It, well, I had it had it had two. Yeah. Backup one. Conclave mentor makes that into two. And then now I double the number of counters. So doesn't that also count as putting more counters on? So you should be at nine yeah. counters on it. Oh. <laughs> so it's thirteen damage. Lord. Is what you're saying. Um. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> beep beep indeed. I I'm gonna take thirteen. <laughs> Alar who's built like a Pixar mom. And <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's too great. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Yikes. Now, All right. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say, no, then I'm gonna play another creature actually. I'm going to play Krenko, Tin Street Kingpin. We All love right. Krenko. Love Krenko. Oh, love new Krenko. art. With new art. Yeah. What a classic friend. And whenever Cranko Tin Street King Pin attacks, you put a plus one plus one counter on it, then create a number of plus one plus one red goblin creature to or then create a number of one one red goblins equal to the number of e one yes. more time. <laughs> 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 then create a number of goblins equal to Cranko's power. That's so good. Excellent. He looks like he's calling the corner pocket for the eight ball and pool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Go All ahead. All right. Holy moly. Is it just me or this feels like we all have some very, very beefy friends on our side and it's just a big war of aggression here? Yep. Yes. I'm going to play a basic forest. And what if... That commander is bonkers. What if more land? How about that? Uh, here's four mana. Path of the Animist. So it's a four mana sorcery. Look for two basics, put them into the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. The second part of this card irrelevant to this game because it's about plane chase yeah. it's a w will of the planeswalkers you, you do a vote and then you can vote to just have chaos ensue i if vote you want. for chaos i so will always I. vote for chaos but okay. not oh, this yeah. time <laughs> i mean okay, we, can, but can we have a unanimous vote for chaos and then just continue oh yeah along? Chaos. absolutely chaos chaos chaos, chaos. 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 right <laughs> You find yourselves on the plane of ravnica a person beckons you over to a bar and says hello we have half price sausages and ale. <laughs> <laughs> you realize you've played walk to a very uninteresting part of Ravnica. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm, uh, I got an island and a mountain just for a variety. Uh, <laughs> Pam's keeping it spicy. Yeah. So then I will be playing one more thing before the end of the turn. I guess I could have done that during someone else's turn, but here we are. I'm going to play Aid from the Cowl. So it's an enchantment with Revolt. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, like a treasure token, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a permanent, you can put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, you may put it on the bottom of your library. Ooh. Or, you could, or you could just leave it there. Can't do anything else, actually. That's so. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's super neat. I like that. 
So I'm going to move to my end step and I get uh, two things happen. I get a Grumblin and it's uh, got two counters on it because I have Grumblins and treasures. And I'm going to tap. No, not me, not me. Let me no, handle it. <laughs> not this time. Don't worry. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap down your 13 power creature. I'm going to freeze your thing. It does not tap on your next turn. Uh, and then also I get to reveal the top card of my library, which is a Hedron Detonator. And What's I may... that? I don't know. Let's find out. It's got to be a goblin. It is. Uh, two yeah. and a, two, two, two red for 2-3. When an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to target opponent. Sick. Uh, Let's sacrif- go. Oh, I should have I stacked those triggers in the other order. Let's say uh, you did. It's fine. Start dinging <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Kathleen, you uh, ping you for one. Yeah, that's fair. And then taps and sack two artifacts to exile the top card in my library, and I can play it this turn. Oh, that's such oh. a cool card. Okay, that, that cool. rules. I love that. It works that. so well with aid from the cowl. Yeah. yeah. That. That's, going, that's going straight into Brea. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah, there's no reason that I shouldn't have stacked those triggers the other way, because, like, what if I hit a permanent that also made another token? It could have made yeah. the goblin bigger, so, or the gremlin. So, yeah, I sh- definitely should have uh, done that in the other order. But anyway. That's the rest of my end step completed. Uh, go ahead, Ailey. <laughs> Fear me, for I have an untapped Siddhar Jabari. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm medium afraid of it. <laughs> She's going to get some of those knights that all got yeah. killed. I know. Olivia, I you know. have no I... flyers, right? Sure. Yes. Three, uh, four at you. First strike. Okay. I, have ac- I will accept four damage to the face. Attack trigger first. Draw card, discard. Mm-hmm. Right. Draw. I kept the card in hand this time because I'm smart. I'm gonna throw away this evolving wilds. Then what I will. You fool! We've all been playing evolving wilds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want the other thing. I will donkey for four, and then you did. I Except. will bring back my. Where is this friend? Acclaimed contender. Is uh, that the indestructible one? No, that one's still okay. the bit. When this enters, uh, if you control another knight, I sure do. Look at the top five cards. I can reveal a knight or equipment or legendary artifact from among them. Put it into your hand, the rest in the bottom. One, two, three, four. I have big money, no whammy. Oh, come on. Many whammies. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take Midnight Reaper. Okay. Mm. Boop, nice. Boop. And Wintermore Commander was the other one, but he's not that fun. We Saw that land whammy first. Yeah, that was icky. No, no, don't pull the cables, Baba. Is it just a thing with babies? Like, cables are the most interesting things in the world. Yeah, cables and cats. facial hair. Yeah, but yeah. our cats do that, too. <laughs> I will then pay one, two, three uh, 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 for a painful doofs. That's what happens before you go to the dentist. I'll draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of colors of mana spent. So I paid three different colors. I will draw three. One, two. Three, and lose three. Let's get this guy out. Uh, one, two, three, four. Can't do that, because you tap like a dumbass, but it's fine. Um, let's do this. Hello. Yes, hello. That sounded like a hello. Are you going to say your first word in one of our games, huh? Probably. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. Mm. Sigiled Sword of Valoran. Uh, oh, creature yeah. creature gets plus 2-0 and is a knight in addition to its other types. When a equipped creature attacks, create a 2-2 with Vigilance that's also attacking. Oh, that's cool. That's better than I remembered that being. That is my that's, go. That's okay. One. Graham, you didn't tap down any of my stuff, hey? Uh, no, not this time. Delightful. I think I think Olivia's fixing to end our whole day. What about your whole career? I'm yeah. Kidding. Well, I can only do one of these things. Bailey will be so mad at me. So? I know. I mean, that makes me want to do it more. You don't even yeah. live in the same town. Not even not even a little, no. Yeah. You can't find me. I. She's taller than me, but I think I could still beat her up. You can pick um, me up, not beat me up. Yeah, I can. Um, <laughs> that's a fair point. What are you doing? Is it I cool? Am being, then I'll well, forgive you. Well, I mean, cool is relative. Uh-huh. I'm going to play a meteor golem and get rid of the sword. <laughs> sure. That's fine. And then I'd probably, I think I'm just going to swing at you big. <laughs> yeah, can bring it. Am I dead? Yeah. Swing uh, at you big. What, do you not yeah, want to kill the blocker then? Because then you can just spread oh, the love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's kill your blocker and you. There you go. <laughs> Friendship. I go down to 13, so you got to do 13 so, to kill me. 5, 11, <laughs> 
14. That's not, oh, that is dead. I can math because I lose the Wait, two from the- Wait, you're at 15, the, hey? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I lose the, the two from the, yep. this guy dying. Cursed gotcha. worm. Love you, buddy. Love uh, you too. Uh, <laughs> you still have more creatures. You could have done more attacking. I mean, yeah. Finish, oh, finish right. declaring you your attack. You got tapped stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did say you needed to go, so I might as well <laughs> do my own execution of goblin mode. Uh, oh no. Rams yeah, I think got, got big a, stuff. Yeah, I got I got one or two thick thick lads. Okay, has got four three and a one two. I've got a two two, a two three, a five six, and a four four. How do I flicker massacre when I instant speed? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know I mean, that I can. You're in the right colors for it. I but. am. I will send a 4-4 four, four and a 5-5 five, five at Graham. Are you tapped out? Yes. Okay. I'll block the 5-5 five, five with my 5-6 and I will take 4. Delightful. I will lose the 5 whatever. I will proliferate. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, right. that's the other part died. of arrest. What's his Pete. name? Remez. Remass. Remass just keeps having text. That's hard. Give, that's yeah. Give Kathleen some extra counters too. <laughs> yeah. What the hell, sister witch? Get some. Get you some counters. Oh no. Okay. Oh, yeah. Double yeah. counters now. Plus one plus one counters when we put on a creature you control. <laughs> so what? Are, what would you like to proliferate here? Get, let's go full. Let's go full steam ahead. Okay. So that's <laughs> luck, two Graham. plus one plus one counters. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Everything on tap. Well, Alarhu doesn't untap this turn. Yeah, ye, and I cannot emphasize this enough, ha. Huh? <laughs> My turn. We <laughs> sure did. Is. We go. did. All of us agree that we vote for chaos. We, we did true. chaos. So okay, you so know what? you know, I'm just gonna put you over here in the not attacking in this scene <laughs> zone. <laughs> what Graham, I've heck? missed you, and I love you. So I'm gonna have your wife beat you up. <laughs> Fair enough. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should draw for the turn. That would give me even more. Oh, no, I knew this was here. I knew this was here. I put this <laughs> you on top. You that there. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the hell? Well, right, yes, I shouldn't be surprised by this. <laughs> like I said before we started filming, all three of my brain cells are on a break right now. But I'm sure as soon as their 15 is up, they're going to get in there. The, ha the hamster's smoking at the wheel. <laughs> He's ready to go back to work yet. <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's fun here? All right, I'm going to play Conclave Sledge Captain, which is a new. Uh, I said we went to Ravnica earlier. Yeah, you long. did. Now, <laughs> sorry, I just please, looked over the card. This card. Please tell me that this is actually Peter Gabriel in disguise. <laughs> well, he certainly got a sledgehammer. Oh. He uh, he has got backup one, backup one, backup one. Let Go. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up, back it, up, back it <laughs> in. Let me begin <laughs> to turn it in sideways. This is 100% Pixar mom deck. Yes. <laughs> so that's, I can back up three separate creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one, plus one counters on Let's it. go. <laughs> oh my God. So you get yeah. two counters on them now and then the, oh God. Yeah. Ow. Okay. So I'm going to put. Two counters on Bright Palm. Yeah. I'm going to put two counters on Cranko. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to put another two counters on, we'll say, the Wood Elves. Uh, so now all these creatures that, that got backed up, which is everybody but the Conclave Mentor, uh, have whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one plus one counters on it. <laughs> I, know the, I know that you crave. Oh, no. oh thank you so much. <laughs> Father, I crave violence. <laughs> okay, so hold up. So whenever, and then Bright Palm says, whenever this creature attacks, double the number of plus one plus one counters on target creature. This creature can't be blocked with creatures power two or less. How many blockers do you have right now, Graham? I have four blockers. But only... Only one of them is of any kind of big size. I right. have a 2-2, two, two, a 2-3, two, a 5-6, and a 4-4. Four, four. So you can only block Bright Palm with two of your creatures. And Olivia, I hate to ask you this. How many blockers do you have right now? I have three. You have, I have three. A, three. I have a 3-3, three, three, a 2-2, two, two, and a 1-1. One, one. Oh. Because the other two things are just... They're just eggs. Yeah, these are just artifacts. So yeah. they're only egg. The, I, yes. And you're tapped out. I have I have egg. <laughs> okay, for you in egg time. In this trying time, yeah. <laughs> I I taught Penelope oh, to say that. So I was like, we taught our seven year old that with handing out like Cadbury cream eggs. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Parenting win. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even really watch the show. I just know yeah. that I, I mean, love that I meme. I mean, it's Danny DeVito and Eggs. Yeah. You have to go with it, yeah. If a tiny seven-year-old, well, she's not all that tiny, comes <laughs> yeah. up to you with a chocolate egg and says, may I offer you an egg in this trying time? Done. Um, but all these creatures that got backed up have trample, is my thought. Yeah. Let's go. Party. Uh, so hold up. So I just got to do so I'm Not to break our witch pack, but I want to count to see if I can... Kill you both? Kill, kill, us. Us. kill both kill of us? No, that's or cool. one no, no, of no. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, sure if I it, kill listen, Graham. I'm here to, if I have to die, let it be to one of my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> this is the forest witch way. Okay. So trample. So this is nine power. Uh, Krenko is going to get a, another two counters on him mm. when he attacks. So he'll be four power. I'm just going to say he's attacking. You, you could... There is a cheeky thing you could do with him and the commander's ability. But Krenko's not backed up by Yeah, Krenko hasn't been backed up by uh, my commander. Oh, wait, wait. oh whenever yeah, it's Conclave's sledge captain the number of is backed up. No, no. Oh, but, but Bright Palm still has that ability. So when yes, Bright Palm has this that ability. Attacks, so then... it will also get four counters. Oh, gross. So, uh, so. And what's, and the then... con what's the Conclave say? It's you put it on. Oh, it just doubles the, just adds one more to that creature. Okay, gotcha. Yes, so that's why he got two, and then yeah. Bright Palm would, I guess, technically it would double, so it would get to four, and that would be turned to five. Yeah. Okay. Um, like a nine. With Bright Palm's wording, you can double the counters on target creatures. So you yeah. can double it on something else if you wanted. To. Oh, on target creature. Oh. Yeah. So it could do the Krenko thing if you want. Just, <laughs> just saying, if you want goblins. <laughs> I might want some goblins so I can live through this. Honestly. That's <laughs> combo. Um, okay. So we'll say we can leave Bright Palm with two counters. And if I can stack these triggers, we'll yeah. say that these three creatures are attacking. And then, so Krenko attacks, he gets a counter plus another counter because of Conclave Mentor. Bright Palm attacks. She says, oh, hello. Would you like to double the amount of counters on you? And Krenko says, heck yeah. Every light them up, boys. <laughs> I see some good <laughs> loot down there in one of those notorious Ravna Canales. The flavor text on that Cranko is beautiful. <laughs> Save that one. She looks rich. Oh. So you're making, you're also making nine goblins here, right? Ten. Correct. Ten goblins. Ten go oh, it's yeah. his power, yeah. I miscounted again. <laughs> Ten goblins. Ten goblins. Boy, I, if that massacre worm does flicker, you're <laughs> super dead. Yes, yeah. I but I think that's part of the fun. So this is <laughs> this is nine power trample. This is ten power trample. This is six. So nine plus ten is nineteen six. I don't have enough to kill Olivia, but I might be able to kill you completely outright, Graham. <laughs> I'm in danger. Uh, okay. Well, you could trade Bright Palm for your Junk Winder. But do I but live if winder. I do that? I'm at thirteen. Twenty six. And I can eliminate. 10, 15 of that. I would lose all my creatures and live but barely. Is that what's happening? And then there's, there's, um, well, there's Massacre Worm. The massacre Worm. <laughs> oh, right. Is that what you're doing? Yes. Okay. Now I have to figure out blocks. It took me long enough to figure out my attack. I mean, I'm sure there's some sort of more. You know what? If there's a more optional thing to do, you can put those in the comments where I won't read them. There you go. So, Krenko. I can only block with the two big creatures because that's the one that got the ability from Bright yes. Palm. Yes. Bright Palm ha is a six, five. Correct. Okay, so I could just trade with Drunk Winder. You could. Then I'm still taking, that's still 19. Yes. And I could block another five. Nope, that doesn't, there's no way to get out of this without losing creatures. So hang on. What's the most damage I could soak up? Let's find out. Ah, so glad math is your blocker. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, Wood Elves is nine power. Correct. Okay. Krenko is ten. Okay, Krenko so if 10. I block Krenko with the two creatures that can block Krenko, that would soak up all of the damage. It wouldn't even kill Krenko. No, he's, but would, he's a ten eleven. Yeah, it would soak up all the damage from Krenko, but that's still fifth. No, sixty six. Uh, yeah, fifteen. So then I put another two into. We'll say we double block Bright Palm. Yeah. Because that is blocking five. So I would still take one plus nine is ten, and all my creatures die. Which is eight. And Massacre Worm kills me. So, <laughs> yeah, no, there's literally no way for me to survive this. So are you blocking you, like that? Huh? I said I love what? you, Graham. Thank you. I will block in the way that kills Bright Palm, but I can't kill anything else. Great. I'm going to uh, choose target creature with a plus one with a counter. <laughs> I'm going to bring Bright Palm back to my hand. Right. Yes. Okay. 
No, it's been a pleasure serving with you all. Uh, <laughs> I'm out. Are you done with your turn, Kathleen, or do you have more game actions you would like no, to take? No, I'm. I I feel that I've done some great work here. And <laughs> I, I, uh, I oh, would oh, you double yeah. counters now because of your your elephant backup, right? Oh right, yes. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Cranko, Cranko didn't do any Cranko kind of dealt damage. No, no damage to me. Bright Palm did, but, but died. But died. Uh, so now I else? have 16 counters on my wood elves. Oh, me. Uh, oh, that my. gets one more because of Conclave. There you go. <laughs> 17 <laughs> counters on. This That's is the, the biggest, strongest yeah. wood elves. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Good luck, uh, Olivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's okay. This is like, you know, witches trained for this. We expect it. That's a no hard feelings once you've got yeah, all the non witches no, out of like the arena. If, like I said, if I've got to go, let it be this way. <laughs> I have 10 blockers. <laughs> but, you know, if they if they, if, so if they jump, you take two. Damage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> take two damage every time <laughs> yeah. they jump. I can't, I can't exactly real. like gang them all up to trade because that would be worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do I pay? Mm. Uh, yes, I'll just go for it. I'm going to ambitions cost. Uh, I draw three cards, lose three life. I'll play a fetid heath. Oh man, that's devastating. Mm -hmm. That would have been sick. And it could still be sick. Get exposed to the flu. <laughs> Sit, here I am, right? <laughs> I've had my flu vaccination. I've tested three times. This is not COVID, whatever it is. It's, it's, so, sometimes it's, your voice just goes on a holiday. Yeah, some, <laughs> I mean. it's, it's hard living in a fun weekend. Yeah. <laughs> You just need to do some VO for like, you know, mm. uh, Boom pile. Simpsons. Yeah. So, yeah. For like a, like a, I need to do some VO for Ben Wheeler is what I need to do. Yeah. Sal oh. Salty diner waitress or something. Yeah. You know? What do you have? Yeah. <laughs> what can I get you to drink, sweetheart? <laughs> you know what? If I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I'm going to turn these friends into Phyrexians. Uh oh. Huge dudes. Mm hmm. Large friends. I'm just going to full swing it, Kathleen. Oh, okay. Oh, I like. Yeah, that's the thing. Five, <laughs> right. 10 is 17, is 20, 21, 25, 30, 32, 35. Okay. So what can't I block? What flies? Because I don't one. have any flying blockers. Angel right, of well. Ruins, a 5-7. All right. So that one's getting through out regardless. Yes. Okay. So every time something of mine dies, I lose two life. But if you chump block a seven power Phyrexian... Yeah, that's still better. Do you have anything <laughs> that could be profitably blocked by a 4-4? Four, four? A Master Splicer at 1-1. One, one. All right, I'm going to block that Master Splicer. So I'm taking five. If I put, we'll say... I'm just going to actually get some more goblins out so it's easier for me to count my triggers. Mm -hmm. Is so this 100% optimal play, YouTube commenters? No. Are we operating under time constraints and trying to respect our friends' afternoon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I gotta get my kid from school. So if I block the three biggest thing and that one small thing, and I block the three biggest things with the goblins, that should leave me alive, correct? I believe so, yes. I'll take 11 damage. Every chump block with a goblin is turning, is reducing whatever damage that creature is dealing to two. Mm. Right. right. So like, just block all the biggest things with goblins and see, yeah. if, see if Massacre yeah. Worm damage is enough. Yeah. It won't be, I don't think. Mm -hmm. All right, so if I block the 5-5, five, five, the 6-6, six, six, and then the Massacre Worm, and That's then... Just, so it, you'd be blocking 7-6-5. Oh, I need to block more stuff. You should eat Brymaz with the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I will. Okay, I'm going to eat Brymaz. Thank you. I'm going to eat Brymaz <laughs> with my 4-4 four, four, okay. and block the 4-4 four, four Golem with another Goblin. So I'm only going to be taking, what, 10 damage and then... Uh, eight from goblin tokens dying. So that's 18 damage. Yes. So you're taking five from angel. This is going to get blocked by a goblin B2 damage. This is going to get blocked by a goblin B2 damage. This is going to be blocked by a goblin get two damage. And then you are going to block the four four with the goblin. Yes. And take two so damage. So that leaves you with 11 damage that you'll take from creatures. Yes. And eight from goblins. So 19 yeah. damage. Great. 19 total. That will leave you at 12. My shields are down. You will win the game. There is ah. also a proliferate trigger on your Brimas. Oh. I will prolif I will proliferate Kathleen's creatures. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, oh boy. Uh, this is great. This is a great environment to play commander, and I love this. <laughs> I'm welcome thing. anytime. Just say. Do the right. thing, have the fun, <laughs> kick 17. the ass. <laughs> Hold up. Where the f <laughs> you already won. I know. Okay. But I, I feel obligated. You just need to, to you gotta assert your dominance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want me to turn? Do you like do you want me to actually do the I attack you for to the, the end just of go, the game? On, on my end step, Kathleen wins. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nailed it. If you Ooh. would like to turn things sideways to, uh, to further show that you absolutely well, kicked my ass, please do. Do you need it for a satisfying narrative conclusion? We got there. I mean, this me is losing a is a pretty narrative satisfying conclusion. narrative conclusion. Yeah. Especially for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Good Thanks, game. Oh, goodness. That was really fun. I don't See? practice my math. I'm never going to get I mean, better Like I it. said, yeah, it's true. And we all voted chaos. So we did. this is what was supposed to happen. We got the chaos. <laughs> I, just, I just honored the people's voice, you know? <laughs> Elder Dragon Hijinx is proudly sponsored by Face to Face Games. If you're looking for the latest sets or sought after singles, check out facetofacegames.com and use the code Hijinx for 5% off your order. Looking for the best accessories for your decks? Look no further than Game Genic. They have everything you could possibly need to protect and store your cards and so much more. Use our code Hijinx on Cool Stuff Inc. or Face to Face Games to get 5% off your purchase. <laughs> Man, I love free cards. They just do such dumb stuff. <laughs> but they were so evenly matched, you know? So yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. Was I mean, like <laughs> I said, we just needed to respect our friends' time constraints and we voted for <laughs> chaos. So I just. Always chaos. Made... Yeah, so why not make Kathleen's stuff bigger? I didn't have a path. I had a bunch of artifacts that weren't going to advance anything. <laughs> so it was like, all right, well, let's go. <laughs> Well, my plan was thwarted, but Massacre Worm is a good way to go. And yeah, that yeah. card got erotted in uh, a Jumpstart, I think. Because it oh, was, was just it a jumpstart? worm previously. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that no. Oh, wow. I yeah, love that good stupid worm. Good times. <laughs> Some great cards. Next time you play Plane Chase. <gasps> oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yes. yes. Love yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, we'll have to do that. Maybe when we're in person again. Ooh. Well. Mm -hmm. If you want to find out when we play Plain Chase, you should keep watching and you should do the following. Yeah, you should click the things that make the dings. I won't make Olivia do this part because her voice Thank probably you. can't handle it. <laughs> it's a lot. Oh my goodness, yeah. If Hold you guys on, enjoyed... wait, let me, let, me, okay. let me try. You should check out our Patreon. <laughs> you should click on <laughs> the button to say like and subscribe. <laughs> Leave a comment. <laughs> Feed the algorithm. I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> do that. Go check out our awesome sponsors. Go use our code HIJINX. Wear relevant. Save yourself 5% on your order. And come back next week and we'll see if Olivia's voice has improved or not. <laughs> Ailey and I want to say thanks so much to our patrons. We really appreciate your support in helping make Elder Dragon HIJINX a thing that will continue for as long as we can play Casual Ridiculous Commander. Thanks again, patrons. <laughs> Should I make me?